Hey everyone, Chris Shokiki back with another toy review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the MCS01 KBB MP, uh, MPIO slash V. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's pretty much a smaller version of MP10 Optimus Prime. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Actually, no, it's MCS01. Okay, let's just get out to the figure right now. This is pretty much a small, deformed MP10 Optimus. Now, I do have the Year of the Horse Optimus Prime, which is the same mold as the normal MP10, but he's actually in a storage right now. Or, not storage, but he's displayed some. He's displayed somewhere. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm not going to get him to compare him with this guy, but. Yeah, that's pretty much, like I said, a smaller scale version of MP10 Optimus. And before we get to the figure, let's look at his accessories. Uh, I'm, gonna actually, I'm actually going to show this off first, because there's actually a lot of accessories here. He comes with an, inst with an instruction manual on, hold on a minute, that's double-sided. Of course, it shows you how to transform him into robot mode. As well as the different accessories he has, the features, and which which parts are alloy. alloy. And on the other side, it shows you how to change it back into vehicle mode. And on the side here, there's the other figures in the uh, in this wave. And yes, this is actually bent. So yeah, that's the instructions, which are actually not that big, or not, or not small enough to fit in the uh, box, because it's folded a bit. And I actually have the tray here, with the accessories. Anyway, to start off, if I can get to it, it comes with this Ion Blaster, and I will say for now, there was a screw here, but it wouldn't screw in, so, and I ended up losing it, so I decided to just glue these sides back together. I mean, obviously it still folds up, but since there's no spring, you have to fold it up yourself. Like that. Yeah, let's put it right there. He comes with a uh, Megatron in gun mode, which is it's metal as well, alloy I think, or mostly metal. It also comes with a stock that you can slide in to the back here, and it will stay on. And there's also a hinge that you can bend the uh, the stock like that. But yeah, that's what you can do. Obviously, this is not official. It's not an official Transformer since there's no Decepticon logo at all. There's not even a Autobot symbol here. But anyway, he also comes with his Energon Axe, which is actually in two parts. See the the little plug for the hand, the axe itself, and here you can see the hole and peg are actually the same shape, so you can just plug it in like so. And yes, the translucent orange doesn't look the same as the translucent orange on the blade itself, but oh well. And he also comes with a jetpack. Yeah, a jetpack that you can put on him in robot mode. With ball jointed with ball jointed thrusters on it. So yeah, they can move all over the place. He also comes with a so with a sword this which reminds me of a weapon that you get from I don't know a weapon that is used in Transformers the last night or in Age of Extinction I don't remember but that's what it looks like and he also comes with three alternate heads he 
he comes with two different G1 style heads. As you can see, this one has the little details here on the side of the mouth, while this one doesn't. And to be honest, I'm not really sure which head I like more, but I will admit, it's not as simple as you pop the head off and you pop the new head on. There's actually a screw on the back of the heads that you need to unscrew to uh, put a head on. And yes, as you can see, this is unscrewed a bit, but that's because I wanted to try these heads out on the figure. So yeah, you have to unscrew the heads and pop them on, put them on the body itself. But yeah, that's uh, that's those are two of the heads that he comes with. He also comes with an with an Orion Pax head. To be honest, I don't use this head at all because the head doesn't look good on the body. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I can say about the uh, alternate heads. I mean, if you want, you can swap them out. Yeah. A lot of accessories for a figure like this. And let's let's just move this out of the way. Now let's take a look at him. Not a bad looking car mode. It really does look good. But there's one thing that that's a problem. This thing is broken. Now I did not do this intentionally. It, the guy who sold it to me said it came like this when he first got it. So it was already broke when he got it. So he decided to sell it off for for $25. And admitted that he would have sold it for $35 if it wasn't broken. But, oh well. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, in vehicle mode, it looks fine. It doesn't look broken. It looks okay. In robo mode, though, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But yeah, in vehicle mode, doesn't look bad. I mean, of course, he has rubber tires. It's chrome all over the place. It's chrome in the down here, chrome on the sides, chrome for the grill, for the smoke stacks, which they can't do anything, unfortunately. But yeah, not bad looking. Again, it's a smaller MP10 Optimus. It's just not licensed by Hasbro. But yeah, not a bad looking truck. And it rolls, so that's good. He doesn't come with a trailer, but eh, I don't mind. He has not really much else to say about the truck mode. So anyway, let's get into the transformation. And you know what, I'm just going to take this off because it, since it's already broken, it's just going to fall off. So, yeah, I think I might end up gluing it. I might not. I don't know. But again, it doesn't really bother me that much. But anyway, if this thing was still on, you take the lights and you... Actually, no. No, no. Before you do that, you take these sides, take the sides here, unpeg them, and you bring them down like so. Bring them down like so. You take these panels, you fold them around, up, oh, mistake, before you bring these down, you take these panels and fold them around to cover up the tires, then you bring these sides down. Okay, that was a mistake on my part, whoops, anyway, fold up like so, bring this piece down, if you want you can separate the legs right now, and you extend them, which is actually pretty difficult. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Off screen, I mean. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Alright. You can see you extend them down like this. Then you take these panels, you fold them up, and these will become his legs. Follow like that. Flip up the toe and the heel. Same on this side. Flip up the toe and the heel. And those are his legs. Now for this, you unpeg the light from here and you unpeg this piece. You 
pull it down. Hey, is there a... Uh, nah. And for, for here, you uh, unpeg it, the arms from this side, from here, and you bring them forward like so. It's a bit challenging, but again, you do the same thing on this side. It's also hard to stand up. Up. I usually like to just unpeg this from here. You open up the, uh, the windows, flip out the head, bring this grill up like so. And yes, you can see the matrix in there. Bring this down, close up the doors, turn the tires around. Obviously, you bring this out of the way, and you fold it around like this. Fold in the lights and the little bumper piece, and you bring them up like so. Again, you would have done the same thing if this piece was still attached, but oh well. You turn the waist around, and then you fold it down like so. Okay, you don't fold, close these eggs, you fold this down, and this peg will go into the grill here. It's actually a hole in the back. So you bring this up, and the peg's into place. Then you close the door, then you close the windows. The, oh, okay, never mind. Then you Fold in these pieces here, you extend the arm, straighten it out, and I usually like to extend the shoulders a bit. Take this panel, fold it down, flip out the hand. What the hell? So you flip out the hand, close it back up. Same thing on this side. In, extend the arm, open this up, flip out the hand, close it up like so. And if you want, you can push the shoulders in like that. And there we have Optimus in robot mode. And yes, I'm just going to continue calling him Optimus. And yes, you can see if this piece were still on, it would have. If I can do it. It would stay on like that, but unfortunately, unfortunately, again, it it came it already came like this. It was broken when it it came broken. But yeah, again, it doesn't really bother me that much as long as it stays on in vehicle mode. And it's a shame, but what can you do? And it's not a bad looking Optimus. Again, this is not official Transformers figure again there's no Autobot symbol at all but it's clearly Optimus a smaller uh, MP10 Prime figure and he's not that bad I do like the look of it obviously the chrome on the smokestacks the grill the waist and on these and his feet are actually made of alloy parts. Okay, hold on, just to. Okay, never mind. But yeah, um, <clears throat> not a bad looking figure. I will admit, if that thing didn't break, it would have been better. But oh well. And just show you, if you open this up. You can take his gun and you fold it up like so and you can store it in this like the normal sized MP10 Optimus like that or you can just put it put it into his hand 
And I will admit, this is actually pretty difficult to ch take out at time when I first got it, but it does. It just fits in there snugly. You just unfold it. And you just open up his hand. And you plug the gun in. Like so. Though a problem, you know it's pegs and snugly, I have to hold it and then close the fingers. So for some reason it doesn't really peg in that well, but yeah, he's holding the gun. If you want. And if you want to use him to use the axe, you make sure his fist is closed. And then for the axe, you just there's a little indent for the, for his thumb to go, you just slide it in. So yeah, you can do that. And he can hold Megatron, though it is a bit of a challenge because of the stalk. I mean, if you if you want, I mean, without the stalk, he holds it on. He holds it no problem. I'm just dropping stuff. It just goes in there like so. And if it is possible to put the trigger finger in the little in the little hole here, but I haven't tried it yet. But yeah, that's uh that's pretty much it. And obviously he can hold the sword. Not really like this because it is loose. You have to hold it at the uh, upper grip here. So yeah, he can hold his weapons, or he can wield the weapons. So yeah. And as for the jetpack, as you can see, there's two holes here, and they fit into two pegs down here. And I'm not sure what these are for, but anyway, you just put him in his back like so which is actually not that easy these days there we go as you can see it actually stays on you can have a fly around the place but eh. so yeah not a bad mini optimus prime i mean again if it didn't bro if it wasn't broken already it would have been better but Oh well. Anyway, for articulation, his head can kind of move up and down a little bit. This the actually all hinge here. He can look with this. You can have him look up more and look down more, but it kind of leaves a little gap. He can move side to side. The head. His arms can fully rotate, and if you extend the shoulders, you can swing him out that far, and swing him in like this, and you could. Also count this as a shoulder joint if you want. He has a bicep swivel, which is actually really tight, and this arm actually has a tendency to uh, pop off. And yeah, see, so he just works his way off the ball joint. So, if this happens, if this is the problem you have with your figure, just make sure you uh, make sure you push it when you rotate it. Otherwise, it will work its way off the uh, swivel peg. And yes, that squeaking is annoying. So I apologize for that. You could bend at the elbow. His wrists can fully rotate. And his his three fingers are all together. They can bend. While his index finger can bend, can bend here and at the knuckle. So two joints for the index figure, finger. He has a waist, or, move the arms out of the way. He has a waist swivel, and if you want, you can kind of give him a uh, slight ab crunch, but that doesn't really count. And the legs can move forward about that far. They can move back that far. They can swing out to the side, like so. And yes, if you can see, it is slightly damaged here because I had the leg up and I kept rotating it like so. So it is it is damaged there, unfortunately. I mean, there's a thigh swivel. 
you can bend at the knee about that far. You can rotate the lower part of the leg. And his feet can move forward and back slightly. And he has a slight ankle pivot, but not much. But yeah, it's not a bad figure. It sucks that it was already broken when when I got it. When I got it from the guy who said it was already broken when he got it himself. But anyway, not bad. But yeah, not a bad figure. If you want to get a smaller Masterpiece Optimus, then this guy is great. Just make sure it's not broken. If it is, then try to contact the uh, seller and try to get a replacement. Or try to contact the uh, website that you got from and to get a replacement. But anyway, again, this piece doesn't, when it's broken, doesn't bother me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much else to say about this guy. He's just a mini masterpiece, MP10 Optimus. Go, if you want him, go get him if you can. I got this guy at the toy store, at the toy show. But I'm sure you can find him on eBay or Amazon or somewhere. But anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.